everyone. Um, so real quick, I'd like you to imagine that I have naturally blue hair. I know this is kind of a weird thing to ask, but like just that I naturally have blue, blue hair, kind of like that color. Um, now, this is something that hasn't happened in our world. It seems impossible just to have someone naturally growing blue hair. Um, but it actually is possible, um, or theoretically possible, to have um, an Earth somewhere out there where people grow blue hair. Um, and this idea is the multiverse. Um, and that is described by Stuart Clark as a cosmos where there are multiple universes, um, and by multiple, I mean infinite. Uh, these uncountable realms um, sit side by side in a higher dimension uh, that our senses are incapable of detecting. Um, now, I had I, I had a survey. Um, now, not many people answered it. It was kind of depressing. Um, but out of the few people that did answer, uh, there were 75% uh, that said that they do believe in uh, the multiverse and that it could exist out there. Um, and if, if we discovered the multiverse, that would be revolutionary. Get it? Because it's the symbol for revolution. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> um, so then having, uh, having the discovery of the multiverse, if we ever did that, um, that would kind of unify the world. Um, and who here has seen the show Futurama? Mm. All right. Uh, so in this show, uh, they have the entire planet Earth unified under one governmental power. Um, and people from Earth are referred to as Earthikins. It's kind of an interesting concept. But if we discover the universe, it would kind of put us in that situation where it would unify everyone on Earth as one single power and kind of reduce all of the petty little conflicts that we have right now um, and just have us all standing together. Um, so, oh, whoops. Nope, wrong way. There we go. Um, so we would kind of have the United Nations get replaced by the United Universe. I don't know. I thought, I thought that was cool. Um, so then we could also use discovering the, the multiverse as a way to develop all kinds of new technologies. Um, now, this would be possible because if there really are an infinite amount of universes out there, then that means that there's an infinite amount of other Earths and an infinite amount of other, or, um, uh, infinite amount of resources. Um, so if NASA's biggest problem right now uh, for having us travel through space is the fact that we don't have enough uh, resources, but if we discover the multiverse, that wouldn't be a problem anymore. Um, and then it could also kind of put us in a place of the red pill, blue pill situation, because it would have everyone on Earth be put in a situation where um, we don't know if we would want to kind of seek out the multiverse or if it would be something that we would kind of want to just leave alone. And this is something that I guess would be kind of controversial, but um, still having that uh, conflict between us um, as Earthikins, um, I don't know, it could be that one step that we take to progress us to an incredible future. So um, back in uh, 1969, when Neil Armstrong landed on the moon, um, he said it was one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Now, this would, or if we were to discover the multiverse, it would make that giant leap seem like a baby step. And this, discovering the multiverse, would be like a Godzilla leap. It would be so immense compared to this moment, it would be almost unfathomable. So... Thank you.